Hey guys, it's Harrison with Seacam Aquatics. Today we got a special video to where we're going to be putting the koi fish into the outdoor pond. So let's get right into the video. But first, what we're going to be doing is doing a little update on the fish room and what's everybody, what's going on with all the other fish in here. So let's start off with the new guppies that we just got in the last episode. Here are the muck guppies. These guys doing pretty good. Um, sooner or later, they're going to get moved into the uh, 100 gallon pond when all the other um, koi fish are outside. You'll see that later on in this video. But I've been feeding these guys a mix of baby brine shrimp and uh, just normal flake food. And they're doing pretty good. I'm gonna, they gotta get out of this tank sooner or later because quarantine's almost done with these guys. Um, so let's show off the other muck guppies that I bred myself. Here they are right here in this tank. Got a super pregnant female right there. That's actually a tequila sunrise. And any of the, it could have bred with any of the males like that cobra. Let's see if I can catch it. Somewhere in here. But there's that blue one um, right there. So there's a lot of different, a lot of different colors that it could be. Um, we just won't see until they, you know, fully grow out. These guys, um, like I always say in every video, they make an absolute awesome addition to any tank, uh, at any color. And really, they're, you know, they, the muck guppies sell for pretty cheap. At least that's what I'm going to be selling them for, because they're not really a specialty guppy, but they are still really a special thing to add into your tank. All right, next up, let's go to the, uh, the uh, sky blue albinos and see how those fries are growing out. Well, here we see that there is a beautiful male right there. And if, uh, before there was also the, uh, the fry swimming next to it right there. All right, now let's move over to these guys. Here are their actual albino fry. Some, if you, as you can see, there's two right there and then one that's not albino. That is from the same clutch of uh, fry, I believe that those ones that aren't albino is where the blue gene comes from. So those guys, I'm gonna let grow out and let and see um, what they look like if they have albino tendencies, which I'm leaning that they're not going to, but if they don't, then they're just gonna go in the fry tank with all the other fries and they'll have a great life uh, breeding and producing other offspring that will hopefully pop up into your uh, tanks at home. Here's a little update on the uh, banana shrimp as you can see we got a ton of babies growing out in this i actually as you can see in the back i added a katapa leaf shrimp will absolutely devour those um these babies are going to be on ebay as soon as they're able to grow out but these guys are super super high grade really really um high color of um yellow i also have a ton of uh, ram's horn snails as well as rabbit snails you can see that big guy right there I don't know if I'm gonna sell them on eBay. Please comment if you guys would like to see that. I know I know people use them as uh, snail, I um, mean, you know, excuse me, puffer fish food, but also they like them in their tanks. So just let me know. And I just wanted to show off these guys. These are actually our breeding pair of rams. You can see, I'll put arrows of what's what male and what's the female, but the male is the top and the female is the bottom. Absolute stunning colors. I'm gonna see if I can get some uh, still pictures to put up on the screen with them. But these guys are absolutely doing fantastic in this nice planted tank. Um, really excited to see um, where and when they're going to uh, lay their eggs. Actually, as you can see, I got one cave there. And this is the whole tank here. Actually, you can see them out and about. But there's another cave right there. As well as, you know, that's the filter, sponge filter. And all the different types of plants. Um, so I'm really hoping that they uh, start to uh, breed. I keep this temperature about 80 degrees. Might have to bump it up because I do know Rams like a little bit more warmer than that. But let's see what they do. They'll definitely be in an upcoming video as well. Then we have uh, the Dumbo Mosaics, which are the blue and red ones. These guys are absolute the best guppies we have uh, in the fish room right now. They uh, were absolute stunners of a fish and I'm really excited to see them produce fry and uh, start to sell these guys. Um, they really are just great fish for ponds or um as well as uh fish tanks they just they look uh fantastic above let me see if i can show that i don't know how well you guys can see it but they also just look great looking at them um they have great personality where you know they run to the surface i can show you run to the surface when you feed them um and they just look fantastic so let me get a couple close-up pictures for you guys and uh, 
we'll show that for you as well. Now let's get into the koi fish. Now what I have in here is I have just an assortment of uh, random kois that I've gotten uh, through the last two years that I've had this pond actually. And um, so let me do a little rundown of what's in here. So that big yellow one right there, that is just your you know normal common standard gold koi fish. Um, then we have the orange guy right there. He's actually one of my favorites just because he's jumped out of the pond once and I was able to save him by throwing him back in. Um, the gold one there, I think might have a slight um, butterfly, which means it has longer fins than normal koi. Not too sure yet. It's gotta grow out a little bit more to really tell. And then of course we got the goldfish. Um, his name is Notorious B.I.G. Um, so basically, he I grew him out from the size a, a uh, pea, basically, a really, really small goldfish, and he's just absolutely getting humongous, looks great, and I can't wait to see these guys in the pond. So let's cut to that footage to where I'll show you guys what the pond looks like, um, and putting them in as well. Alrighty, so let's get these guys out. So what I'm going to use today is I got this jumbo net, and then I'm going to try to fit them in a bucket. They're starting to get pretty big for a bucket. At least last year, I'll fit all four or five of them in one bucket, but now it's gonna have to be two buckets, so let's get down to it. I'm not gonna take too much water just because it lowers the chance of them jumping out. All right. So first, let's see if I can catch one. These guys are pretty quick, so it's difficult. So it looks like I got Notorious B.I.G. A little close up of him, real quick. Water. Alright, let's see if I can get one of the koi's. Now, the koi's don't really have any names yet, so maybe you guys can comment some good names down in the comment section. Let me see. These guys are hard to catch. Alright, looks like I got this guy right here. Let's do a little close up of him in the water nice orange silver color so maybe you guys can let's do this as koi one you guys can comment names for them actually we might be able to still fit them in one bucket let's see then we got the jumbo this guy is humongous start he's starting to squeal like they do if they're out of the water smaller so I should be able to fit them. Now we got me and my brother's favorite koi. This guy's a nice orange golden color. This is the one I think that might be butterfly. So let's put him in here. Then one last one. This guy's mostly a brown color. When I got him he was actually a blue color but he started to change color. Which is okay. So as you can see, it's almost like a burnt orange color. Really nice looking koi. Let's put them in the bucket with the other ones. Alrighty. Now let's, I'm gonna bring them outside. I'll meet you guys out there. All right, let's get them in the pond now. So first up, let's see which one I catch. So we got this nice orange and white guy. So let's get, get him there in the pond. Let's see how he does. Alright, here's the big kahuna. 